Ah, solitude. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what? Woo, 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 woo. Sheesh. <laughs> that felt like rush hour. <laughs> yeah. Where'd that monstrosity come from? Whoa! <laughs> Yourself from my mountain, pink fellow. My new resort isn't for bunny slopers like you. You shoot like a wolf. Oh yeah? Well, you hot dog like a weenie. coming down with something. you down to this latitude. Mucklock let Sacred Seal get away. Now must either catch Seal or change name and never show face in village again. Man, that would be awful. <laughs> For all of us. Don't worry. Mucklock catch Seal with special seal horn. <laughs> I'd like to help you, Mucklock, but I've got problems of my own. It's okay. Mucklock got everything under control. <laughs> <gasps> Sacred seal! <laughs> stop, seal! Oh, stop! Trespassers will be snow coned. <laughs> Freeze, Jean Claude. Ha! Try and make me. It's a pink thing. You idiot! You bowled me into those trees! So what's your problem? You got a strike. I told you to stay away from my snow shissing. And I told you to stay off my property! No, you didn't. Well, I meant to. In Eskimo Village, we settle arguments with big winter sport contests. 
Mucklock! Uh, did you catch the sacred seal? Nah, Mucklock taking lunch break. Blubber, anyone? Contest, eh? Hui! Winner stays? Loser! Good! Better go rent your moving van, Pinky! Put your luge where your mouth is, slush for brains! <laughs> Sacred seal! We make this last event double or nothing. Ha! Bet you never jumped from this high before. Ha ha! I've fallen from higher than this. I want you off my mountain in five minutes. Sacred seal! Oh, please, no. Whoa! Again. So village came to seal, and he won't get away again.
Not bad, Brillo. You didn't even hide your eyes that time. What kind of captain are you? This team stinks. You win tonight's game against the thug suckers, or you're fired. Yeah, I... Huh? We can beat these guys. They're only human. <laughs> well, almost human. Out of the way, Pink Pants. There's a real hockey team here. Good day! Whoops, you missed. <laughs> huh? Nice deke, huh? Wow, he's got moves. So he can skate. He still needs a goalie. Goalie? I know the coolest dude for the job. He's got ice water in his veins, a frigid stare, and he keeps my sodas cold. The Mighty Puck's new goalie. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Goalie, this snow cone. <laughs> when I get through, you'll be able to bite that guy back. Whoa! Slusho! Oh, buddy! Oh, happy day! Together again. Say, uh, who are you, exactly? I'm your team captain. You're my goalie. Oh, dream of dreams. What's a goalie? All you have to do is stop the puck. I think they look nice on me. Can I wear them out to dinner? This gives new meaning to the term body check. Hmm. We're gonna have to put that snow cone on ice. Ah! Ice sculptures. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. Oh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> oh! Mr. Slusho, Mr. Slusho, uh, please come to the parking lot. You left your car lights on. Gigi. Oh, my Gigi car lights. Wait, Slusho, y you don't even have a car. Oh, they said I left my lights on, but on what? The love doctor is in. Uh, Slusho, oh, Slusho. <laughs> she could melt the ice right off a snowman. Hello. Would you like to slalom sometime? Sorry, Snowball. Little Cubet has places to go. Cubet. Cubet. I think Slusho's getting snowed. You come back in my little cubit. Hey, that's right, Slush for Brains. Keep following the Ice Queen. Hold on, Cubit. Yeah, I'll save you from that, uh, brute. Eh, uh, Slusho! Help! Gah -gah! Oh! Something tells me Slusho doesn't have his mind on our hockey game. Oh, be brave, my little snowflake. It's Lasho is here.
Say goodbye to your little icicle, freezer face. Oh. Slusho, the hockey game starts in a few minutes. Oh, who can think about parks at a time like this? I guess this means you lose the big game. <laughs> I'm Crash Dice. My cubet's in the tank. So's my hockey career. I'm going to stand out in the sun and end it all. Wait! The game ain't over till it's over, buddy. Oh! I never thought of it that way. He's so smart. This'll jumpstart their romance. Say good looking. Did I give you a hot flash, or are you just melting? <laughs> you can't melt until the hockey game's over. Come on! The game starts in 30 seconds. I'm gonna fry that, Panther! Suckers, nothing! Uh, ice and boys! Oh, <laughs> I love a man who can hold on to his puck. Just today. Oh yes, <laughs> me, me. Oh, thank you. Oh yes. Oh, oh, I feel all watery. Maybe it's love. Slusho, get out of that spotlight. No, it's the mighty pucks two thug suckers one. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> Make that Mighty Pucks 2, Thud Suckers 2! We have a tie game! Don't you dare hurt one ice chip on my slush show's empty head! <laughs> Thug Sucker Puck in the side, Pucket! <laughs> Win at the buzzer three to two! Panther! You've just won the big game and saved your job! What are you gonna do next? Ooh! I wanna get a snow cone! Mr. Labamba, just give me a shot. Look, kid, I told you, we got a pitcher. 
Well, maybe you've never heard of Rex D Ball. Of course, we're always on the lookout for fresh talent. Okay, kid, show us your stuff. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> That's your stuff? Ha! We've known little kids with stomach flu who hurl farther than that, eh, Spalding? <laughs> Radio Rex! <laughs> Face it, kid. When you stink, you stink. Mr. La Bamba, I really want a spot on the team. Worse than you can imagine. Mm. Okay. I got just the job for yous. At least I made the team. <laughs> <laughs> you call that making the team? Giving our mangy mascot his daily flea dip? I guess you could say he's a flea agent, eh, Smalding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ignore him, Dink. He's just a guy who talks to baseballs. <laughs> Yikes! Whoop. Holy Toledo! Can you do that again? Only this time with a baseball and not through my hat? <laughs> but I don't know how I. Whoa! Yikes! And it's foul. I refer, of course, to the pitching of Rex D Ball. But wait, what's this? Baldy La Bamba is bringing in a relief pitcher. Well, that is a relief in itself. Rex, you finished. Oh, coach. Okay, kid, this is your big break. Let's see some grit, some mental toughness, some heart, and then strike the lousy bum out. Oh, what a pitch! Where did the much find this kid? You're up. The score is tied. A hit by Rex D Ball can win it right here. Uh, here's the pitch. You're out. Struck him out. Now the pink kid steps up to the plate. The pitch is on its way. And the kid connects. The pink kid has rallied the Mutts to their first ever victory. How about them, Mutts? Steal my glory, will he? I think not! <laughs> Why, Rex d ha <laughs> Are you being a poor sport? <laughs> well, shut up, Spalding. I wasn't talking to you. Greetings from Mutt Stadium, where once again the visiting team is positively powerless against Pink's prodigious pitching prowess. Ball, please! Sure thing, pal. Does it? Now we're gonna have to play dirty. Mutts enter World Series! 
pitching superstar to visit ailing kid fan. Are you <laughs> little Elmo? Hoping for Rex Debo, but I guess you'll do. Elmo, you know the mutts are in the World Series? Hey, I may be thick, but I'm not stupid. Well, I'm gonna win the series, and I'm gonna win it for you, little Elmo. And that's not all. You know that special treatment you need to correct your lisp? <laughs> Special treatment? Well, I'm gonna pay for it. And here are the doctors now. Wait, seeing a song of sixpence? See, I'm cured, see? It's okay, it's a miracle! No, ah, no, no! <laughs> Think the coach will let me play today? <laughs> Don't let me down, kid. It's the final game of the series and I can practically taste that trophy. It tastes like metal with some writing on it. Mmm, mmm. Okay, Dink, time to play ball. <laughs> so that's your secret. <laughs> Let's see how you pitch without that itch. It's the last game of the World Series, folks, and the Pink Kid is pitching for a month. Stand the power of flea magnetism, right, Spalding? Kitchen days are over, pal. You and your mutt are finished. We've been itching for this moment, right, Rexy? Radio Spalding. <laughs> itching? Dink! The flea! It's fled! You haven't got it, have you? <gasps> My flea! Aha! Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, get your carcass out there! You're up next! Score tied, bases loaded with two outs. The Pink Kid's pitching is gone to pot, but can he still hit the long ball? Here's the delivery. Steer right one! Steer right two! Oh, man! He swings! Pokey smokes, look at that ball go! Incredible! The Mud Bill Mutts win the World Series! Well, I guess it's the showers for us, Spalding. Well, Dink, I may have lost my flea, but I still swing a mean piece of lumber. Yes, my pet 
and then three banks shut. Happy, happy birthday, Mama. XXOO, love journey. I'm sending you a present for your birthday. I love you, Mama. have the big game on your birthday, but not this year, Buster Brown. No, no, nay, nay, uh-uh, no. <laughs> Bully. <laughs> How about a little foot gumball? Hello, pretty colors. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> <laughs> when Johnny's big gum bomb goes off, buddy, game's over, poor Finn. Seven years to digest it, pal. <laughs> Yo, Blue Boy! <laughs> Excuse me, my fine man. I've got a special present here for my mama. Not to worry, citizen. Nothing will stop the mail. I am a professional. Whoops. And now to see that football season starts off with a bang. <laughs> Uh-oh, don't step on a crack, don't step on a crack. Yo, heads up! Incoming gum bomb! Yo! It's your birthday, it's your stupid birthday. Yeah, it's your birthday, boy, you're really old. <laughs> nice breath, clown boy! No! Oh, oh no! I mailed the bomb to mom. I gotta get that package back. Return to sender, baby. Calling postal person Panther. Be on the lookout for Johnny Chucklehead. He's suspected of double licking his stamps and impersonating an envelope. Mr. Chucklehead won't get anything past me, sir. You can count on it. No, my little baby. Hi. Hello. Hello, my little baby. Hi. Hello, my baby. Hello. Oh, cha-ching, buddy. You. Aha! Uh -huh. Trying to tamper with the mail, were you? Oh, hi. <laughs> Glad I caught you, baby. Look super. Look, I need to get that little package back because there's been a terrible mistake. Hold it. You're in violation of code 4308-2, colon, participating in post parcel pandemonium perpetrated on postal personnel, period. I'll get you. <laughs> yeah, the old Weathermaster XJ9 ought to put a pink kink in your tail, buddy boy. Ah, help! Postal person Panther, you're not letting a little rain interfere with your mail delivery, are you? <laughs> Of course not. Oh, he's getting away. Oh, I don't like this. Well, a little snow ought to frost your pumpkin pony boy. Yoy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Oh, oh, talk about a snow job. Yoy. Uh, time to call in the professionals. <laughs> oh yeah, this this is gonna be bad. I have an instant. Yo! Oh, fire hydrant on my head! Dog's coming. Not a good thing! This is wrong! Get off of me! Hey, stop that! Come on, guys, I don't have any medical. Go! Never mess with a postal worker. <laughs> Mama will help me. Mama will clean me. G g gone to Miami? Without me? Sh sh she doesn't love me! <laughs> but she will after I stop football on her birthday. And I'll let him do my dirty work for me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Special delivery. Super great. Great, super. Thanks, buddy. Just a second. I've got another package for you. <laughs> need some stampage, stampage, stampage. I need this delivered to the stadium right away. It's it. It's the game. It's the game ball. Um, why do you have the game ball? Oh, I, I make them. <laughs> Somebody has to make them. See, here's the ball for next week. <laughs> it's not finished yet. Say hello to Kevin. Game ball delivery. Put it on the x-ray conveyor. Hey, that's a bomb. Hey, what do you got in your pockets, huh? There's more than one way to collect the mail. <laughs> that was easy. <gasps> Postal person, Panther. Have you delivered all your parcels promptly? Um, working on it, sir. supporter. Turning it for postage due. It's your birthday, it's your stupid birthday. It's your birthday, boy, you're really old. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Get off me, clown! Think about a day job. Listen up, wannabes. 
In order to become beefy barbarian, you've got to be buff, tough, and desperate to get on TV. The rules are simple. Beat the reigning champion, Attila the Killer, in a sudden death obstacle course. If you win, you become the new beefy barbarian. If you lose, we'll notify your next of kin. So, who wants to put their life on the line for a TV show? Okay, I want you, 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 and you. Huh? Hey, what about me? <laughs> I've seen veggie platters with more meat on them. <laughs> oh, yeah? Brains will beat brawn any day. And this guy's no rocket scientist. Hey, was that an insult? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Attila! Yeah, you! Let me see you try that again, pal. So you got lucky. Take that! Man, you stink. It's the garbage. No, I mean your style. If you want to be beefy barbarian, you need me to train you. A bath wouldn't hurt either. I don't need a trainer. I can outsmart Attila. Uh, he'll eat you for breakfast and still have room for flapjacks. I know. I trained him. Then why do you want to train me? Uh, the bum dumped me when he became a hotshot TV star. Besides, I'd love the challenge of taking a pink bag of bones and turning him into a beefy barbarian. Was that an insult? Darn tootin' it was. The most important part of athletic conditioning is stretching. Peak performance comes from being loose. Whoa! I felt that. <laughs> yeah! Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty loose. Really, I am. Uh, you're not even halfway to limba. You need more dynamic tension. I got all the tension I need right now. Thanks. What? I hope I'm clear for takeoff. Give me a pull up. How was that? Terrible. So while I set up your training table, do 999 more. Ah. The best way to bulk up is through exercise and eating right. Now, what do you like on your deep fried hoagie? Mayonnaise, mustard, lard, the usual. Thank you. Hey, no cheating in my gym. When you cheat, you only hurt yourself. <laughs> and sometimes you train up. This'll tell us what kind of shape you're really in. Faster! Faster! Good! Keep that up till I get back.
starting to look rather buff. The only thing buff about you is your tail. We got one last desperate hope. It's a car wash. Used to be. Now it's the bufferator. Build your pecs, lats, triceps, biceps, and abs all at once. What, no hot wax? Huh? Ah! <laughs> How was it? Anybody ever make it out of that thing alive? <laughs> it's Wiccan! You're a sculptured Adonis! You're the Panthenator! Let's have a big barbarian cheer for today's contestant! The Panthenator! Huzzah! 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 So we meet again, you backstabbing, double-crossing, good-for-nothing bum! Hey, you one of my fans? You don't know me? I made you what you are! Mom? Coach! I was your coach! <laughs> okay, barbarians! Take your marks! Hey, you may look all muscly wussly, but underneath you're still a pipsqueak, you know what I'm saying? Oh, poo. Get ready. Set. Go! You're going down, Panthenator. <laughs> Should have trained harder. And the killer heads into the rope dope well ahead of the Panthenator. Wow. Hey, hey. Here you go. Catch, okay? The one barbarian race as a killer reaches cannonballistic run. wants to fall here, or they'll end up in the dreaded poodle pit. Who dreams up these dumb games? Time to hear about it. It's a long tale. Incredible! This pink cream puff is a new beefy barbarian. I have you to thank, Coach. Nah, you were right, you bum. Using your tail was using your head. Brains beat brawn after all. Nice, Hasta la vista, Attila. 